Hello, my name is Mike Estella. I'm an application engineer with Photron, and today I'm going to be talking about the measurement tools available in PFV4. Here I have PFV4 open with a pre-recorded file. I've opened it up in the file tab. And the first thing that we need to do to ensure accurate measurements are being taken is perform a calibration. So we're gonna click on the dimensions tab up here and select calibration. You'll see over here on the right, the calibration options have appeared, and we're gonna select manual. When I do this, I'll have two options. I can either calibrate by a known pixel size, or I can calibrate by the length between two points. For this example, we're going to calibrate by the length between two points. I've measured this box at 11 inches. So when I click on calibrate by length between two points, you'll see these two points pop up. I'll go ahead and drag this point over to one corner of the box. And I'll drag this point onto the opposite corner. And now we can enter this distance as 11 inches. And you'll see if you drop this menu down, you can select between inches, feet, and yards. Or if you'd prefer to work with millimeters, meters, micrometers, things like that, you can go over here, up in menu, click on configuration. And in the preference tab, you can select uh, millimeters, micrometers, meters, and you'll see that reflect over here on the right hand side. But for this example, we're going to stick to inches. All right, so I've got my distance measured. And now down here, I've got some other options that I can uh, experiment with. I can select a grid, and you can adjust the size of the grid squares. I can create a ruler, and I can also add some auxiliary lines to my grid and customize those how I would like. Now down here, you can add a coordinate system to your grid. So I can do an upper left origin coordinate system that'll originate in the upper left. Uh, lower left that will originate in the lower left or I can do a user origin and drag my coordinate system to wherever I please so we can do it something like right here once you have all those options to your liking you can go ahead and hit apply I'm gonna get rid of the grid just for this example and we'll hit apply here on our calibration now it's important to note that the known distance is in the same image plane as the motion that you want to measure. So I want to measure the motion of this box, and I've calibrated off of this box, so that's fine. But if there was something in the background of this image or in the foreground of this image, and I calibrated on the box, and the thing I wanted to measure was in one of those different uh, planes of motion, the calibration would not provide an accurate measurement. So please ensure that you calibrate uh, based off of something in the uh, same plane of motion uh, that you want to measure. All right, so now that we've done our calibration, we can uh, go to dimensions and measurements. And here we'll see all of the measurement tools that are available in PAV4. The first measurement tool is a simple two-point measurement. So you will click two points, and the PAV will tell you the distance between those two points, and this is based on your calibration. So we'll test our box calibration this should be about 11 inches so we'll go ahead and put on both corners and you'll see right here measurement number one pops up as 10.999 inches so it looks like our calibration is good so right here this is a multi-point calibration and we can just keep creating points as many points as we want and the PFV will tell us the total distance from the start point and it'll go through each point to the finish point so as you can see as I keep adding points here the distance is increasing. And then when I'm finished, I can just go ahead and right click, and then I have my total distance here on measurement two. Now, if I'm happy with these measurements and I wanna delete this stuff, I can just click this delete shape and it'll get rid of those. Or if maybe I accidentally clicked it and got rid of them, I can go ahead and undo that and put those back on, but I'll clear these shapes. Next, we have an angle measurement. We'll go ahead and put three points and it will give us the angle. We'll create an, about a 90 degree angle here. And we see that reflected over here, 88.5. Angle two, well, we will create two lines and the PFV will give us the intersecting uh, angle of those lines. So we got exactly 90 degrees for these uh, lines right where they intersect. Next we have radius. We'll click three points and it'll draw a circle around those three points and give you the radius of the circle. Then we have diameter, again, three points. It'll draw a circle around those three points and give you the diameter of that circle. 
And we also have two circles. We'll draw our first circle. We'll draw our second circle. And you'll see these lines in between circles. It'll tell you the total distance between the center of uh, both of those circles. From the, the center of one circle to the center of the second circle is about 6.3 inches. And the last feature is count. So this will just give a simple coordinate and a number based on uh, your coordinate system that you um, set in the calibration. So I can just go ahead and keep adding coordinates here. Now, one thing you can do is get speed. So let's say I want to measure the speed of this box. So we're at our start frame here, and I'll place my first point on the corner of this box. Then I'll go ahead and start to play the video through. And now we see the box is moving. We're starting to move. And now we want to know how fast and how far this box has moved. So I'll go ahead and pause it. And then let's go ahead and measure uh, that, that distance. So the box has moved about uh, 7.6 inches. And it's moving at about 2.26 inches a second. You'll see both of those up here on uh, measurement number one after we've done that. So that is the Photron measurement tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at 858-684-3555 and hit the tech support number. Or you can reach me directly. My email is mike, M-I-K-E, at photron.com. Thank you and have a great day.